Hi there, it's me, Joe, again. And right now, I'd like to tell you a funny story that includes uh, my brother and I. Uh, well over 10 years ago, I was visiting uh, my parents and my brother, and they live in a house, or they lived in a house in PEI, Prince Edward Island, and that's on the east coast of Canada. I was visiting during the winter, and... Uh, there's lots of snow, and this particular night of this story, there was a snowstorm. In fact, there was so much snow that it built up, got higher and higher and higher on our roof, and covered over this air vent that let air into our furnace, the heater for the home. And when there's no more air getting in, then it shuts off. So this is really bad. It's serious. If your furnace shuts off in Canada in the winter, you have to do something. So my dad made a few phone calls and he found, and the, the furnace people from the company weren't going to come out to fix it. They said somebody had to go up on the roof and clean it off. Well, uh, my mother at the time was in a wheelchair, so she can't go up. My dad at that time was uh, about 80 years old, so he couldn't go up. He probably wanted to, but he couldn't. My brother... He's, he's, he's bigger than I am. I'm a big guy, and he's bigger than I am. So it was up to me. But I didn't have a ladder, so I had to climb on top of, uh, on top of uh, this gate on our deck, then on top of a trash can. Then I had to kind of jump myself up, jump up onto uh, the porch, and then scramble up, and finally I made it to the roof. Uh, I got off the roof, I swept away a bunch of snow around the air vent, and you could hear the furnace come on, no problem. As soon as the oxygen starts getting in, it turns on, we're safe. So then I put the, threw the shovel back down, and I started to come down. Now, getting up was easier. Getting down, there was danger that I might fall and hurt myself. So my idea was, I was going to get on top of the porch and just jump into this snow bank beside the house. The snow bank was uh, new fallen snow, so nice and soft landing, and I'd be okay. Probably go, the snow would probably go up to, you know, about my knees or so, but I'd still be okay. Then I could walk down off the snow bank and into the house and enjoy my evening. I told my brother this and he said, yeah, 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 that'll be okay, good. So I looked for a good spot and then I jumped and I went into the snowbank. It was all soft, and I jumped, and the snow came right up to here. I was trapped. I couldn't. I couldn't move because I was stuck in the snow. So I was yelling at my brother, Charlie. Charlie, help me! I'm stuck in the snow. Help me out. And he said, "Just a minute. Don't move." And he ran in the house, and then he came back out with a camera, and he took a picture of me while he was laughing. And then he went back in the house and turned the lights off and left me in the dark. So I had to wiggle and haggle back and forth. And finally I got out. It took me a few minutes. I don't know how long. And then I rolled around. I was covered in snow. I was soaking wet and I was cold. I finally got in the house. And I, there was my brother at the kitchen table playing a game of cards or something and laughing his head off. So I went over and I gave him a great big hug because I was so wet and then I punched them so that is my story my wintertime story of uh, my brother and I I hope you liked it thanks bye